India has just revealed the world's lightest attack helicopter for the world. As the tension between India and China is increasing day by day, India has sent its allied marine force to attack China in the India-China border. The light combat helicopter or the LCH developed by the Hindustan Aeronautics Limited or the Hall of India, the LCH is a multi-role attack helicopter, stated to be the lightest in the world, with its flight ceiling being the highest among all attack helicopters. According to the Hall official, speaking to IANS, Indian Air Force Chief of Air Staff, Air Chief Marshal Rakesh Kumar Singh Badori flew the twin-seater LCH for the first time, taking off at 11.45 am two days before from the Air Force Base in the city's eastern suburb. Plans are underway to integrate the aircraft into the Indian Defence Forces shortly, and the test study is part of the preparation to field the aircraft in the combat operations soon. In the latest development in the India-China border standoff, the Indian Navy's Allied Marine Commandos Marcus, which is India's version of Navy SEALs, have been deployed near the Pangang Seoul Lake in eastern Ladakh. The move comes months after the India deployed its secret Special Frontier Forces in the region. India's external spy agency, the Research and Analysis Wing RA, exercises control over SFF, which consists mainly of the Tibetan and Gurkha paratroopers trained in the mountain warfare. While Mr. Badori, the Air Chief, said he was looking forward to the aircraft's induction, he also said he is sure Hall will be given the required focus on the production at a fast pace. As per the Hall, the helicopter is a potent weapon platform owing to its state-of-the-art system and highly accurate weapons which enable it to strike any kind of target by day or night. The other features of the LCH include its ability to operate in complete area of responsibility and the altitude. It can carry adequate weapons loaded at the high altitudes under varied conditions. All these characteristics make it more suitable for the hard and the high altitude operations, according to the Hall press release. The LCH has been proposed to meet Indian forces' requirement of a dedicated light helicopter combat operation, with the Indian Air Force planning to order 30 more aircrafts. As India-China stand up turning into a battle formation, Indian news agency ANI reported that the Marcus personnel will serve along with their Air Force and their Army colleagues. The ANI reports also said that the special unit of IAF Garud have moved to the hilltops and strategic heights the eastern Ladakh to counter any aerial aggression by the Chinese PLA and prevent sudden surprises. Amid the ongoing standoff between India and China at the line of actual control, the de facto border in the eastern Ladakh, two of the LCH developed by the HAL have been deployed in lay at the high altitudes. The attack helicopter is equipped with two-person tandem cockpit, which can be accommodated a pilot and a co-pilot. The aircraft has been designed to perform several attack profiles which include anti-infrastructure, anti-armor emissions, and relatively high-altitude flights. Helicopter can also be used to perform air defense against the slow-moving aerial targets, including both the manned aircraft and unmanned aerial vehicle. It can also undertake counter missions to destroy the enemy air defense operations. The former Indian Air Force chief also said, the light combat helicopter of the LCH will be a step above the Apache helicopter of the US used by the Indian Air Force pilots. So what do you think of India's world's lightest attack helicopter has been revealed to the world? While the tension between India and China is increasing, India's allied marine forces have been deployed to the China border. India gives green light to use firearms against China. Alongside the Indian Navy is flexing its muscles to counter Chinese development in the Indian Ocean and in the South China Sea. India sends a clear message to China. India has now given the green light for the Indian military to use firearms to defend themselves with any Chinese tactics of using mass or seeking to outnumber Indian soldiers. Like the 15 June Galvan Valley clash, a top Indian government source said. China has said that India has changed its rules of engagement for the LSE, where the use of firearms was barred under a bilateral agreement. 
According to a source, China's words cannot be taken seriously as they speak one thing and do anything. So, this engagement from the Chinese side has to be taken as a pinch of salt. Chinese soldiers have outnumbered Indian troops during the Galvan Valley clash, which will not be the same now as India has now changed its rule of engagement in the China-India border. Both sides sir, said they are likely to stay deployed in the forward areas of Ladakh through the winter, with China insisting on disengaging from the southern bank of Hong Kong so fast, while India has been clear that it has to happen in all the areas simultaneously. After the 29th August incident, where the Indian Army has recaptured its position in several heights from the Chinese Army. India is now flexing its muscles with its navy around the Indian Ocean. It is now deepening ties with countries who wants to counter China. India, which operates one of the world's largest navies, has to do more to counter China along with its allied countries. While China has falsely outpaced the Indian and the US Navy swiftly, India is playing its part by inducting new submarines, frigates, destroyers, and also building more of them. But US Pentagon has already said China has outpaced even the US Navy for now in the Indo-Pacific region, but that too will change soon. China now has the capability to move forward with its navy anywhere it wants, as its navy is rapidly developing to match the US and other countries. For now, China has limited option to operate in the Indian Ocean. India has stepped up its work here in the Indian Ocean by joining hands with US, France and building new naval bases with its friendly countries to counter China. The role of the Indian Ocean in the global economy is hard to overestimate. Three quarters of the worldwide maritime trade and half of the world's oil supplies pass through its water. Choke points such as the Malacca Strait in the east and the Hormuz and the Bayel Mandeb Straits in the west makes much of that shipping exports in the case of military conflict. India's Navy operates an aircraft carrier and is building another one, in addition to possessing nearly 30 other large surface warships and a fleet of strategic and tactical submarines. China's Navy, by contrast, possesses some 90 large surface warships, including two aircraft carriers, and it is building eight more, also building more advanced ships at much faster rate. The gap between the Indian Navy and the Chinese Navy is likely to grow in coming years, as China's economy bouncing back while India is battered by the coronavirus pandemic and shrinking according to the Indian news media. So what do you think of India giving green light to engage against Chinese any intrusion and miscalculation and Indian Navy is flexing its muscles and not only in Indian Ocean, also in the South China Sea.